This is Ryan A and welcome, right? So today we are addressing travel and buying tickets. I will have follow-up videos on traveling on a budget and traveling on a budget specifically to Medellin, right? So I'll have a ton of information on that for you guys because I've been here almost what nine months, right? So and it's an amazing place, maybe my favorite place to be which I know is a huge statement, but yeah, <laughs> right? So let's begin, All right? So like, subscribe, by the way, comment if you have questions or want me to do specific videos. Yeah, All right, so let's begin. So what do I use to get the best prices and best tickets? I use Skyscanner. I'll leave a link in the description so this will be easier for you. I know my accent could be a bit difficult to understand at times, but yes, right? So Sky Scanner. I've used a ton of apps over the past, what, five, six years, and this has been the best app, all right? So let me take you through the process of using the app and like what I recommend, all right? So first, of course, you're gonna check where you're going to specifically and the good thing about sky scanner they will give you signals for the best price so a green circle for the best price uh, orange circle for like the decent prices and red circles for the worst prices right however i would say you want to check within a week period to see which day you get the best prices beyond using the signals right because sometimes it's software it may not be perfect you may not be getting very specific detailed and correct information so still manually as you would say check sunday to monday or sunday to sunday or monday to sunday <laughs> all days in the week to see what is the best day to travel price wise for that specific country it will vary so let's let me just give you a quick example if you're flying from trinidad and tobago where i'm from and you're going to germany or you're going to brazil it's usually cheaper to travel on a Sunday or Monday, right? However, now I'm traveling from Medellin to Trinidad and Tobago and my cheapest ticket was on a Wednesday, right? So make sure and check that manually. That's the first thing I would say, right? The second thing I would say is ensure to put on the alerts and save the specific flights because it will save you time, right? So if there are change in changes in prices, let's say higher or lower at least you'll get an alert so you'll know where you stand where your price is concerned right i would say still check double check because sometimes you would get better prices and you may not get alerts as i said this is software you're using so it's not always robust and a hundred percent effective <laughs> but yes right so double check that use the alerts and save the flights that you found right the next thing that I've found that has been very interesting and has saved me a lot of money, honestly, is when you check the details of the flights that you've found, go to the respective airline websites and check the prices there, right? So let me give you an example. From Medellin to Trinidad, I use, I think, two different airlines, right? Avianca and one other. I think it's Copa, right? So on Avianca's website, it was cheaper to purchase the, the flight there than it was to purchase it on Skyscan. I believe it's because some of these companies will have agreements with these platforms to give you better deals and some won't. So sometimes they'll be more expensive, right? So that's a very important point that I think, yes, it may seem a bit tedious, if you don't have a concern with money and you just want to get it out the way and you don't mind it by all means don't check but if you're on a budget and you and you're like me and you're trying to save every dollar because you're traveling pretty often you're now building or whatever your circumstances may be and you're trying to save do that more in-depth research right so go to the respective airlines and check the prices there because yeah as i said sometimes they may be cheap right so yeah i think that's about it that's usually my process let me go over them so one i use sky scanner right two use the alerts and save the flight to save you time three 
check day to day. I think I mix up the numbers, but check all the days in the week to see what day is the best day despite what signals they may give you and what the app may tell you first right and lastly go to the respective airlines website individually and check the prices to see if they would be cheaper purchasing through the airline than in the app right so yeah i think that's about it if you have any comments questions videos you want me to do definitely connect or just message me comment below let me know like subscribe or dislike if you don't <laughs> and yes i will talk to you soon this is ryan a 